After almost 36 days of accusations against Kenya's security forces, implicating them in looting, among other incidents, following the terror attack at a Nairobi mall, they finally gave their side of the story. Uh, or the bully, or the moment. And this is the CCTV footage Kenya's military chief says has been grossly exaggerated by the media. The KDF had left the mall. He says soldiers involved in the operation only took water with the knowledge of their commanding officer. According to Karangi, two soldiers found with stolen items have been dismissed and jailed by a military court while a third is under investigation. And that soldier has been arrested, is now under close arrest, to use our, our language here, and it should be find him guilty today, tomorrow. He will go the way of the others. Reports of looting by the soldiers had tarnished the Kenyan Defense Forces image and it remains to be seen how far the admission of partial wrongdoing will go in repairing the forces image. Meanwhile, investigators say they're wrapping up work at the mall and should be out of there in a couple of days. So far, the remains of four suspected attackers and their weapons have been found in the rubble of the mall's collapsed roof. Authorities say they're still pursuing several leads. Once we apply for the warrant of arrest, we'll be uh, seeking also the intervention of Interpol in terms of issuing a red notice, what we call the international warrant of arrest. Police also say they're analyzing communications made four days prior to the attack. Robert Nagela, CCTV, Nairobi, Kenya.